This is the end of our year together. The hard work is paid off, but the hard work is not over. There's a saying that goes, the finish line is just the beginning of a whole new race. And from here, it's nothing but up. Now, to the moment you've all been waiting for. We are here, we've made it. The finish line is just the beginning of a whole new race. Together, we can move mountains. And from here, it's nothing but up. Continue to be hungry, continue to have drive, and do not question your journey. We are here, we've made it. Now, to the moment you've all been waiting for. If I'm here, it's nothing but up. Welcome graduates, family, and friends. My name is Ellis Durr. I'm a member of Europe Pittsburgh's graduating class of January 2023, and it's my pleasure to be your host for today's graduation. Since its founding in 2000, Europe has opened over 30 campuses across the country and has served more than 30,000 young adults, including the 19 fine individuals whose accomplishments we're celebrating today. My fellow graduates and I spent the first six months of our program learning essential skills and completing technical coursework in application development and investment operations. And then we spent the next five months in an internship with Bank of New York Mellon, which is where we are now. Today you will hear from graduates and staff that are a part of our Europe Pittsburgh's learning community, nicknamed LC Steel, because we're in Stiller country. A learning community is a group of students and staff, which is a key support structure that contributes to our successful program model here in Europe. If you wanna hear more about Europe, how it works, how to refer your family or friends to the program, and the amazing success of Europe alumni, I encourage you to read more on the graduation website or check out Europe.org. First, I'd like to kick off this celebration by sharing my personal journey through Europe and how it led to me graduating today. 
So normally everyone here at the beginning makes a joke about Europe being a scam because it sounds too good to be true. Because honestly, like, honestly, if you watch any promotional material for Europe anywhere, any other YouTube videos, someone will bring it up or anyone who makes a speech. And they have a right to because it does sound too good to be true. It's an incredible opportunity, but I digress. I learned about the program through my mother, actually. Uh, I was currently just kind of working in retail, just content to exist, not really striving for anything. And my mother brought up the Euro program as a way to sharpen my coding skills a little bit. Gives me something a little uh, bigger and better to strive for. I was a little worried about the financial side of things, but I had the resources to make my journey through Europe possible thanks to staying at home with my mother and working part time. Though Europe does have plenty of financial aid available if you're interested. I already had a decent amount of fast coding experience, so hopping onto the application development track to further sharpen my skills for the workforce seemed like a no-brainer. I was very nervous during the first month or two, actually. Uh, I was worried that I wouldn't fit in with my Pearson cohort, or that I would be perceived as too dumb, or that I would suffer from imposter syndrome and feel like I wasn't supposed to belong. You know, they're all so much older, maybe, or they'd all have way more experience than me. But I'm happy to report that the staff and my peers were very welcoming and incredibly helpful whenever I needed assistance with classwork or other needs. Throughout my time in the learning and development phase, which is the first six months, uh, I learned not only about programming, but also necessary business knowledge to prime me for a successful internship. Whether it was learning how to build my professional brand, uh, make my LinkedIn page, I think they're called pages, uh, or working with my peers on the deluge of projects we had, uh, Europe was always an entertaining educational time. It was a treat to see all my peers grow in Europe, not just in learning new things, but also growing as people too, learning more about ourselves and bettering ourselves together, growing as a cohesive unit, a cohort, if you will. Europe helped me get off my lazy butt, so to speak, and actually strive for something for once. I was content to just let life pass me by and just exist, floating adrift in a sea of mediocrity. But now, thanks to Europe, I can actually live instead strive for higher goals, shoot the moon, the whole works, aim high. I was able to walk into my first day internship, not quaking in my unshined dress shoes, but with my head held high and my spirits up, ready to take on the corporate world with all the strength I could muster. Okay, that might be a little overdramatic. Realistically, I just walked in just to get my computer and my fingerprinting done, and that was it. But I was still ready for it. I was ready to take it on. The whole point of this diatribe is that I can't thank Europe enough for giving me this opportunity to me and so many others. All I can really say to that is just, well, thank you. Uh, even though I can't really thank you enough, uh, thank you for giving me and so many others the opportunity of a lot. And now I would like to introduce the person who thought it was a good idea to give me the microphone in the first place, Lisa Diaz, the site director of Europe Pittsburgh. Thank you, Ellis. I want to start by thanking everyone joining us today who supported our graduates in their journey, family and friends, community partners, the entire team at our employer partner, Bank of New York Mellon, and of course, the incredible staff of Europe Pittsburgh. And most importantly, thank you graduates for the trust that you placed in us. I think I can speak for the whole staff when I say that we believe passionately in the potential of young people. Watching your progress over the last year, seeing you develop new skills, navigate new environments, and finally launch your careers is why we love our work. It has been an honor to be a part of your journey, and I'm so excited to see what the future holds for each of you. It is now my great honor to introduce our graduate keynote speaker, Marche Morgan. Marcia Morgan currently works in the same department that I do, that be the robotics process automation team. And having her on my team has been a blast. Sometimes she does fall into a little bit of a bundle of nerves and gets a little worried about stuff, but she always pushes past it and delivers really great work. And she's just a joy to be around. She's also really good at organizing all of us to do social media stuff, like creating TikToks for Europe. I now am really glad to give the floor to Marcia Morgan. Early in the program, I wasn't sure if Europe was the right move. I had never done anything in tech before, and I was constantly asking myself, am I making the right decision? Am I making the wrong decision? I really wasn't too sure. There was also so much to learn, and all of it was new to me. I felt like an imposter, 
And a lot of the time, I wasn't really confident in myself. When I started Europe, I didn't know anything about tech. I had gone to school for journalism. And when I didn't work out, I wasn't too sure what I was going to do until I talked to a close friend of mine. He told me that I should try to get into tech. And my first reaction was, yeah, okay. But then I started to do some research and I saw how many things there were to do. And I wanted to be a part of those things as well. But I had no idea how to get started. I didn't go to school for computer science and I really needed to figure out how to get into tech without going back to school. I was really excited about when I first found out about Europe, but I was nervous. I was nervous about the work and I didn't know what was to come. After our orientation week, I started to feel pretty good. But when I first heard about orientation, I honestly didn't want to do it. But I ended up having a lot of fun. We did a lot of activities to help us get to know each other. And it made me look forward to continuing the program. Starting the first part of our program was learning and development. That came with a lot of challenges. I wasn't getting enough sleep. I also wasn't working outside of the program and that also added to some stress of mine. I also didn't know how to ask for help that I needed. That was probably one of the biggest lessons I had to learn. I think that I would have done better on my assignments, especially my coding assignments, if I would have had that urge to ask for help more with my cohort members. But that was also part of my learning experience. I was really anxious. After the first day, I didn't know if I wanted to even come back. I felt really overwhelmed and in my head, I felt alone and by myself to figure out everything. But I adjusted my thinking and I reminded myself of my support system. I talked to my cohort members, especially Antoinette and Shelly. They were always there when I needed to vent and I really appreciated our coffee dates. I was also very lucky to have Europe alums on my team during internship. I really appreciated being able to talk to Maite about her experience, and I still had the staff and my coaches of Europe who told me that I was not allowed to quit. So I started to get on my own way, and I realized that I was having a really good experience. I have a great team, and a manager who is really genuine. I never had experience working at any job where I felt I was truly valued. And that was really, really important to me. Quitting would have been easy, but over the past year, I've learned that I'm stronger than I thought I was. I'm motivated. I can complete something when I put my mind to it. And best of all, I found something that I enjoy. If I had quit, I wouldn't be starting my new position here as a robotic process automation developer on the robotic process automation team here at Bank of New York Mellon after graduation. When it comes to some short-term goals, my career goals are to build my technical skills and be more valuable and independent to my team. And personally, I'm really looking forward to the stability that this opportunity will provide. When it comes to some long-term goals, I'm actually trying not to map out things too closely. In the past, I don't think I imagined how good things could be, and I don't want to limit myself. I'm going to keep an open mind and continue to learn and roll with the punches for a while. Finally, I want to thank the members of the cohort for making this experience such a good one. Some of my best moments were when we were together in person. One of my favorite memories was the end of our LND celebration, where we got to connect with each other as people talk about music, pop culture. I also enjoyed the pep talks on the 12th floor and the therapy sessions that we had during internship. Thank you all for being there for me. I want to see us continue to support one another as well, build our careers, but also build our lives outside of work. Thank you to all the staff at Europe, our managers, at BNY Mellon, and the family and friends who supported us along the way. Thank 
you for your inspiring words, I say. Now I'm going to pass things over to Sharonda Hagens Jones, our Associate Director of Program at Europe Pittsburgh, who will introduce our student awards. Thank you, Ellis, and good afternoon, everyone. At every year at Pittsburgh graduation, we come together to celebrate the extraordinary accomplishments of the young adults who displayed the motivation and perseverance needed to complete this program and prepare for their next career stage. And at each graduation, we have the privilege to recognize certain students who went above and beyond in their year of journey making a significant impact on their fellow students and staff in their learning community. Our first two awards honor Chris Mello and Dave Reddick, two early members of the Europe community who lost their lives in the attacks of September 11th. One student is selected from each of our learning communities to receive these awards. First, please join me in congratulating the recipient of the Chris Mello Award for Leadership, Khaled Yaku. Congratulations. Next, it is my honor to announce the recipient of the Dave Reddick Award for Excellence, Antoinette Green. Congratulations. Our next award is the Core Values Award, given to one member of our learning community and nominated by their peers, who truly embodies Europe's core values respect and value others, build trust and be honest, engage and embrace diversity, be accountable, strive to learn and work hard, and have fun. Through their everyday actions, these graduates embody all of this and more. Congratulations to the winter 2023 recipients of the Year Up Core Values Award, Ty Mutes. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. J, and congratulations to all our award winners. And now, it's the moment you've all been waiting for, or at least the moment I've definitely been waiting for, the presentation of our Year Up Graduation Certificates, a testament to the past year of hard work, talent, and determination that has brought us all through this journey to the next stage of our professional careers. Graduates, as your name appears, please come forward to receive your certificate.
Now I'd like to introduce Maite Flores, Year Up Pittsburgh graduate of summer 2022, who will lead you in the oath. Hello, Year Up graduates, friends, and family. My name is Maite Flores, and I am a proud alum from Year Up Pittsburgh class two of summer 2022. First, I want to congratulate all of the graduates on achieving this incredible milestone. One of the great things about today is that you get to complete this journey as students and start the next as alumni. Europe has over 24,000 alumni across the country with the power to shape the future. Together, we can move mountains, but it requires each of us to commit to lifting while we climb, and the alumni oath is our vow to do just that. By reciting this oath, you officially joined the National Alumni Association. This is a network of leaders who are advancing in their careers and education, contributing to the success of Europe's mission and taking action in the movement to close the opportunity divide. Please join me and your fellow alumni in taking that commitment by saying the oath now. I pledge that as a member of the Year of National Alumni Association, I will continue to uphold and promote Year Up's mission and core values. I will strive for excellence and realize my potential. I will use my time and my talent to contribute to the success of Year Up. It's students and it's alumni. I will take action in the movement to close the opportunity divide. I take this oath freely as a promise to live while I climb and to be a lifelong ambassador of Europe. Hello, I'm Janice Lindsay, and I'm the National Director of Alumni Relations at Year Up. On behalf of all of us at Year Up and the Alumni Relations team, I'd like to welcome you to the National Alumni Association. Everything you've done along your Year Up journey has been in preparation for the day you become alumni. And now you're entering the third and longest phase of the program. As students and interns, you proved that you were epic. And now that you are graduates, it's time for you to act. The alumni relations team and all of Year Up will be here to support you as you advance in your career and higher education, contribute to the success of Year Up, and take action in the opportunity movement. And UPRO will be here to support you as the primary job placement agency for Year Up graduates. To learn more about resources, services, and support available to alumni, please visit yearupalumni.org. Today, as you graduate, you join more than 23,000 alumni across the country, and you, we hope that you will remain engaged members of the alumni community. Most importantly, we hope that you will continue to lift while you climb. Congratulations, and welcome to the National Alumni Association. Today marks an important moment for every one of our graduates. Graduates, it's the beginning of your professional journey, and it is a journey. There's no single path for you to follow. Use the skills you've developed and trust your instincts. I know you'll be successful. And as my team mentioned, we encourage you to always lift while you climb. To graduates and supporters alike, we ask that you think of the friends and family members in your, your life who deserve an opportunity to start their own professional journey. Take a moment to look at the About Europe page on the graduation website and click on Refer a Student. Every referral you give is one more step on the road to closing the opportunity divide in this country. Your support and partnership is invaluable to this work. With that, I will leave you all to enjoy the moment, the achievement, this milestone. Graduates, it's been an absolute honor and a privilege to know you. You all have the skills and talent you need to be successful. On behalf of the entirety of Europe, the Alumni Association, and the thousands of young adults across the city who are seeking opportunity, thank you and congratulations. You've earned it.